Hi and welcome back again. This is Rick's Rambling Reviews with another Chris Joyner's Pepper Powder. Um, if you haven't seen my previous one of the Thai Tri Pepper, please do. Um, I was in a weird mood when I did that one, so forgive me if it's kind of a weird review altogether. However, we are doing a different review here. So um, tonight I am doing, by the way, some background. Chris Joyner over at the Hot Pepper Forum sent me a bunch of sample powders to review uh, and try out. Thank you very much, Chris. I appreciate that. Um, man, just a ton of them. Um, also, uh, Chris Joyner has his own uh, website, his own store. Uh, if you're interested in any of these powders, you can uh, jump over to www.heatmadesimple.com and uh, check out his hot peppers over there. I'll put a URL down below for you to check out uh, after. <clears throat> okay, so uh, tonight I'm going to be doing the Scotch Bonnet Powder. Right, I'm gradually building myself back up to Super Hots. I did one Super Hot the time before last. <sighs> I still think I'm catching my breath on that one because you just can't jump right back in super hot stuff after you've been out for a while, right? It's a little bit of a shocker. It's like one of those where you go, oh, why am I doing this? What am I doing? Why? What? Are people actually being entertained by this? This is painful. And then, then you come back the next day and you go, you know, what? I'm going to do that again. Oh, yeah. So um, <clears throat> this is just a straight Scotch bonnet pepper uh, mix. Um, once again, I'm not putting the spoons up to the camera, blah, blah, blah. Check out the previous videos if you need an explanation for it. Uh, if you prefer me to, to bring back kind of that, that thing, I mean, I know it's such a big deal, right? Rick, please put back up the spoon. Your videos are the same without it, <laughs> right? Whatever. Whatever. It, um, any suggestions I'm open to, uh, I, I appreciate it too, any constructive criticism. So uh, you'll see right, man, I keep getting it mixed up right over here. I will have um, an up close, close picture of the powder so you can see it better. Um, yeah, so I've already got it dished out. And um, once again, it looks finely ground. Not quite as finely ground as typical powders I've had from him. Um, but when I say that, I don't mean that uh, this one's like totally chunky and clunky and clumpy and all that kind of stuff. It's just not quite as finely uh, ground as the others. Um, a little bit on the like a flaky side. Ooh, wow, that has a nice smell to it. It's got a nice sweet smell to it. Little, little sweet, little, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Dang it. I ain't good at the English language, man, I'll tell you that. All right, so, sorry. If I think of the word, I'll put it below. How about that? Okay, so I think the Scotch Bonnet is a good step up from the tri tie mix that I just did, and uh, definitely a step down from the Super Hot as far as heat's concerned. However, the last time I thought I knew what I was going to be, like the heat, I'm like, oh yeah, this is this shouldn't be too bad. I, you know, I've had Bujiloki before, and I don't know what I'm talking about, man. I do know what I'm doing. I'm procrastinating. And that's not what you're here for. Anyways. Let's do this, right? Anyways, all right. Mm. Nice, man. Nice. Um, I've been trying to sit here. I'm sitting there as I'm eating. I'm thinking, what is this flavor? I know I haven't had too many Scotch bonnet pot pods myself. Maybe one. Um, but it's got that Scotch bonnet flavor is what I'm guessing because it was... Um, the, the the main flavor whatever flavor that is was a main flavor in there scotch bonnet like kind of like if you had the habanero you'd say oh it's got a habanero flavor to it that kind of thing very nice has a little bit of sweetness to it 
hint of smokiness to it too all um, with it. Some heat already started to uh, kick in. Starting on the back of the tongue, moving forward on the tongue. Um, apparently moving backwards on the tongue, down on my stomach for hiccups. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> nice heat. I like the heat. I have a nice gradual rounded heat building up. It's on the tongue. A little bit of roof of the mouth right now. But mainly staying in the front cavity of the mouth. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a little bit of um, sharpness to it, a little bit of tingly feeling to it, which I like. Let you know, like, hey, I'm on fire. No, not on fire, but definitely some really nice heat. Um, we're still building a little bit. It's moved a little bit more towards the back, back of my throat. Not necessarily hot coal, but... Uh, you definitely can feel the heat building up in the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dude, I like that. Now, I've had some uh, recently, I'm, like I said, I've been trying to build back up. So I've done, um, I have some ground up uh, goat's wheat uh, peppers, which uh, are, are milder than this, but I've been having that to soup and enjoyed the heat on that. And I was thinking, oh man, I like the rounded heat, but. I know this is probably not much of a comparison, but this kicks its butt, man. Really nice, really nice balanced heat on it. <clears throat> I think by talking so much, I'm I like, <gasps> excuse me, I, that I'm feeding it oxygen, so it, it wants to kick up more. So maybe I should shut up. Crap, I can't do that. So <clears throat> it's built up a little bit more. I would say the heat so. Somewhere around a one. Yeah, 1.25. Somewhere right in there. <clears throat> but man, man, I like that heat. It's nothing going to kick your butt, but it's going to be, an, you know, you just need a little bit of heat uh, some night. Do it. Uh, man, maybe getting a lot, a lot of things. Um... Ooh, you know what that'd be good in? Macaroni and cheese. Yeah. You know, I'm just making stuff up. I'm not a chef or anything. Personally, though, know, that'd be good in that. Um, good in some barbecue sauce. Maybe a little, maybe barbecue sauce. Maybe not too much because um, sometimes the milder, milder flavor ones and the milder uh, heat ones uh, tend to take a lot more if you want a, um, your barbecue sauce to take, <coughs> excuse me, taste like them. Um, so, up to you. Personally, I would just save it, put it directly on my food, um, or sprinkle it um, a little bit on maybe each bite of barbecue sauce, maybe something like that. But I would definitely wouldn't mix it in. It takes a lot. Um, but definitely recommended. Highly recommended. That Scotch Barn is good stuff. Um, so I said 1.25 on heat, and I would say flavor on that's uh, 4. That is good stuff. Okay. Um, not completely down off the heat, but it's on its way down. So no need to hold you hostage here anymore. So uh, once again, uh, URL can be found down below for um, Chris Joyner's Peppers, www.heatmadesymbol.com. And uh, uh, just go over there, check out his stuff. Now, anybody else have any uh, powders and stuff you want me to review, just please contact me. Let me know. Um, if there's any extra shout outs you want me to give while I'm giving the review, I'll be glad to do, do that, much like I do with Chris's stuff. Um, I like to point people in the direction of where there's some good stuff to be found, much like the, the forum where he hangs out uh, and um, tons of other great people hang out there, too. They're all helpful uh, and have all sorts of their own powders and stuff. Maybe they don't, they don't own their own store or anything like that, but hey, they'd be willing to sell you some or even give you some or trade you some uh, 
goddess or something. Uh, so please be sure to go check them out over at the, uh, the hotpepper.com. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So uh, please feel free to leave any comments down below. Uh, any constructive criticism, criticism is definitely welcome. And uh, as I normally say, that's done. I'm done. Have a good night.